the Jordan Love era has begun in Green Bay. He's had time to refine his game, his mechanics, learn the LaFleur system, and learn from a legend. His time is now, and fans want to know, can he continue the Packer quarterback legacy? I believe he can. I believe Jordan Love has the skills and ability to be the guy for Green Bay. People forget why the Packers drafted Jordan in the first place. And I'm here to remind everyone why. This is a love letter to Jordan Love and Packers fans, explaining why I believe in your quarterback. Gronk, spike the like button, and let's go. So here we have some Jordan Love tape from 2022, preseason action, and at the end, the regular season game versus the Philadelphia Eagles, where he was launched in versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Within this film, I'm going to showcase what I love so much about Jordan Love. Athleticism, arm talent, anticipation, accuracy, presence, poise. This guy has a lot of lovable traits. So let's begin with this. His athleticism. Functional athleticism within this scheme. As you can see, first play, just a little dump off. But the man is launching the football sideways, sidearm, getting away from pressure. That is Jordan Love's game. This is what you will see from him in this system where there's going to be a lot of PA boots. He can throw the football from any angle, off platform, and he can deliver it on time and save plays through his arm talent. Right here, you can see that he is a little bit of a scrambler. He's not... Lamar Jackson or Justin Fields, but he can run. He can also run on some design plays if you want him to. Right here versus the 49ers in the preseason shows off a little bit of speed. So he can run a little read option here and there. It's not going to be a big part of his game. Right here, though, is why the Packers drafted Jordan Love. Because of his creativity, his ability to create, and his vision. Notice how he's continuing to first buy time and find somebody open it's third and goal so it's the proper situation to maybe take a risk at the seven yard line trying to make a play buying time on the move flips his hips avoids the rush again and then still has the arm strength to flip and throw the ball accurately where only his receiver can get this ball that is elite quarterback stuff right there that is exactly why the Green Bay Packers drafted Jordan Love. Creativity, vision, feel, and arm talent. The arm talent is what could allow Jordan Love to be a really extraordinary quarterback. Like, look at this throw. This is a very short throw. But there's only so many quarterbacks in the NFL that can actually do this. It's a sidearm rocket to the flat. This is a Matthew Stafford, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers-esque type of throw. Under pressure gets destroyed on the play. Absolutely nailed right there. Falling over, throws the ball, and completes the pass. And then you can see he has that feel within the pocket just to subtly move around, avoid the rush, and find his check down. This is something that Aaron Rodgers was very good at. And that's something within Lafleur's system that you have to be good at. You have to be good at functioning within the pocket, looking at your first, second read. It's not there. Okay, I'm going to look to the flat. Usually there's a back there, and then I can deliver the football calmly. And that's what really makes me believe in Jordan Love. The guy is exceptionally calm. He is so composed, and he is very effortless with how he throws the football. Right here, composure, understanding I'm going to get absolutely killed when I throw this football, but there's a guy open. I got to make the throw. He makes the throw, accurate ball, and you get some yards there. And right here, third down situation. He's going to get hit. He understands there's pressure. The Saints are bringing a blitz, and he's able to accurately deliver the ball. Just watch how composed he is. 
A lot of quarterbacks will get very all over the place and won't know how to handle pressure. Just a little easy, quick flick of a release. Quick release allows him to be great versus pressure. Right here, third and six, pockets collapsing versus the 49ers. And he actually throws this ball deep down the field. This is a deep intermediate throw right in the middle of the field. He is open pretty comfortably, but again, pocket collapsing, sees the middle of the field, throws an accurate ball, and has no problem with pressure. I have yet to see any problem with pressure for Jordan Love on his 2022 film, which allows me to believe that he's ready to play in the NFL as a starting quarterback. Right here, we're going to get into some of the arm strength, the accuracy, the anticipation stuff. Here is just, just look at how effortless it is for him to throw the football. I mean, he has exceptional elite arm strength. From the day that he steps onto a football field as a starter, he'll have a top 10 arm. On this play, you're going to see his power, his ability to throw short passes with power and anticipation. Right there, a slant pass. We saw a million times Aaron Rodgers to Jordy Nelson. Here is just a quick out. Right? A lot of timing stuff within this offense we saw from Aaron Rodgers, Matt LaFleur calling plays. You're going to see a lot of this stuff with Jordan Love because he can execute it. He has a very quick release. He just snaps the football out there. And again, effortless arm strength. Very easy for him. He doesn't even, doesn't even look like he's trying. There's other quarterbacks that were drafted in the same draft class, not pointing at anybody. There's a guy in Miami. You know who I'm talking about. It looks like he's trying to throw the football through the person. Jordan Love... He doesn't need to try. The guy is easy arm. Right here, the pass is incomplete. But as you can see, it's an absolute bullet in double coverage. Maybe not the greatest decision, but the guy had an extremely accurate pass. I mean, right in the hands of his receiver. And I would categorize that more of a, a drop than anything else. Here, just a super accurate, deep, intermediate throw outside the numbers. It's a comeback. Puts it right on the money. That is the type of throw that great quarterbacks, great pocket quarterbacks, Tom Brady, those guys make where anticipation, you got to get that ball away from the coverage. You got to understand when the receiver is going to break. And he hits that on the money in double coverage. Just easy. Like, and then he gets hit in the process. So gets hit, still makes the throw on the money. This is what I love about Jordan Love. He has the mechanics down. He's clearly fixed a lot of his mechanical issues because you rarely see him throw a bad pass. And that's what really makes me believe in Jordan Love. More than anything else, his mechanics are very sound. He does not throw inaccurate passes very often. Here you see him get outside the pocket, launch that football on the money. I mean, that is a big boy throw right there. And you're going to see this offense do that a ton. If that's Christian Watson, that's probably a catch right there. And here from the pocket launching the ball down the field, that is probably the best pass I saw him throw on, on tape. Basically, double coverage, crosser going to the opposite side of the field, puts it right on the money, off of play action, settles his feet beautifully, and again, effortless. Doesn't even really have to try. And the ball is right there on the money, perfect mechanics. That's what you want to see from your quarterback. Third and five here. Again, throwing it away from the coverage. Receiver doesn't catch it again, another drop, but away from the coverage. This looks like an inaccurate pass, but it really isn't because he's got to get it away from the linebacker, put it away from Bostic number 47, and he puts it right on the money where only his guy can get it. It tells me that he is under control of the football. He is in control of what he is doing with the ball. A lot of quarterbacks that aren't very good cannot do that. If you watch Justin Fields, Trey Lance, some of these younger quarterbacks, they can't control the football the way Jordan Love can. That makes me believe in Jordan Love. Fourth and three, pressure, blitz, no problem. I'm just going to throw it for a 40-yard touchdown to Romeo Dobbs. One-on-one, -on -one, perfect touch pass in that scenario right there. Let's just watch it one more time. You know where the ball's going. Just perfect little touch over the top, rainbow, perfect pass. Third and four here. Love, good composure, effortless release. This is a beautiful pass. This is anticipation, chemistry with your receiver, understanding where to throw the ball away from the coverage, right? Bam. I mean, 
This is really good stuff. Like, people are sleeping on Jordan Love's arm talent, accuracy, anticipation. The kid is good, man. This guy's got a lot of potential. And I liked him coming out of the draft, but he has improved greatly since coming into the NFL. Now, this is the Philadelphia Eagles game that I just want to go through as many plays as possible to understand how well he played. Okay, guys, understand this for a second. This is the number one defense in football last year. The Philadelphia Eagles, they're losing 10 minutes left. There's still time left to come back and win this game. Despite Aaron Rodgers leaving the game, there's 10.30 left in the fourth quarter here. It's 37-23. They're down by two touchdowns. They score a touchdown here. The game is still on, very much so. So the pressure is on. This is on the road. So, I mean, this was a big, interesting situation to throw Jordan Love into, and he succeeds. So here we got second and 10. Looks to his right. Nobody there for his liking. Looks back to the middle of the field. Then finds his check down. And again, doesn't really have to fully turn his body, set his feet. He just got such an effortless release and arm that he puts that perfectly for a yards after catch. Just get the drive started type of throw there to A.J. Dillon. And then third and five, okay, big situation. Like I just said, 9.42 left in the fourth quarter. Need this play to extend the game and make something happen. It's just easy. It's just easy cash. I'm going to find Al Lazard for the little out route. And a lot of people say, oh, that was easy. He's wide open. I mean, the situation is what makes it hard. Again, the noise of Philadelphia. Down by two touchdowns. You know you're passing the ball. The best pass rush in the league. All these factors. And Jordan Love just walks onto the field and throws this completion on third and five. Not every backup quarterback's going to do that. And then he follows it up with a touchdown here with a really nice design play here. And just Christian Watson being the fastest man on planet Earth. But again, exceptional mechanics. Play action fake. Throws a dart on the move. Doesn't have to break stride, does Christian Watson. And Watson does the rest, running by two of the slowest safeties in the NFL. Epps and Blankenship, I believe, for the touchdown. But, I mean, my goodness, just like, like Love had no fear. No fear at all in this situation. Now he's down by 10 because the defense doesn't get a stop. So, they're probably not going to be able to tie this game on this drive. But still, he's trying to... Put up as many points and look as good as possible. And he's getting these reps. First and 10. Looks left. Nobody's there. Looks back to the right. Finds Christian Watson over the middle of the field. Perfect throw. Allows Watson to adjust to the ball and try to find extra yards. Now he's in Philadelphia territory. And he's also running a two-minute offense here as well. This is a young guy running a two-minute offense. Was the best pass rush in the league. Remember these things. Okay, now he's throwing. And this is a beautiful pass that ends up being incomplete, probably because it's a running back, but it's a perfect back shoulder throw to Aaron Jones right on his chest. And Jones just fails to catch it. If they get that play, I mean, they maybe score a touchdown on this drive, but unfortunately, no catch for Aaron Jones there. Jordan Love does not get any help. Then he throws another completion for a first down. Doesn't even matter. Okay, Aaron Jones drops that pass. I'm just going to throw one into Alan Lazard for a first down over the middle. Again, making these throws over the middle of the field, comfortable in the pocket, no fear, no just lack of composure. He's so composed. He's so effortlessly smooth. And that's what I love. I mean, this guy gets out of the pocket. Now he's trying to find a play. Throws that to the end zone and misses Christian Watson there. He could have potentially had Alan Lazard on this play. Chris Collinsworth broke this one down where he made this double move. But I mean... I kind of understand it. Love was already looking to the end zone on the crossing route to Watson. And I think if it was a little bit of a better throw, he might have been able to get him. Uh, maybe he could have adjusted here and thrown this ball to Lazard, but it's not as easy as it looks, I mean, on the replay. But he was already kind of zeroed in on Christian Watson, which I don't really blame him because next year he's going to do that a lot, probably. Third and four, game on the line. So obviously you need points. You need them now. You're down by 10, 117 remaining. Still need an onside kick. I think they have three timeouts remaining. They haven't used one yet. So you need a touchdown. And Love is trying to buy time, understanding the situation, extending the play, trying to make something happen. Maybe he could have ran for three yards. I don't know if he would have got the first down. Throws it over the middle of the field, right on the money again, into the chest of Randall Cobb. But Randall Cobb drops this ball. Could he have maybe gone to the running back there? That, that could be argued. He's looking for the big play here. He's looking to be aggressive and... 
passes up the running back on the move, trying to make a throw that's going to change this game or potentially give them a chance to win. He finds Cobb open. See, vision, composure, understanding the situation. This is elite stuff. Accuracy, obviously arm talent. I mean, he throws that ball right in there. And maybe that defensive back was a little bit early. But, I mean, man, what is there not to love about this guy? He showed everything in 2022 that I really think he's going to succeed as a starter right away with the Packers. He doesn't have the best weapons. But I think within this offense, he's going to execute at a high level. He's accurate. He's got sound mechanics, understands when to extend plays, understands situational football, doesn't put the ball in harm's way very much, athletic enough to avoid pressure, composed enough to understand when to sit in the pocket and make throws. I love Jordan Love. Like, you guys should be excited because I think he's going to be very good. Maybe not right in year one right away. But man, this guy's got all the talent and it feels like he's put it together from a mental capacity as well. So I'm really excited to watch Jordan Love in 2023. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's Mitch. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.